Yo yo, peace, what's up mother truckers, welcome to my channel, enjoy the video. Hi all, so in this video I will overclock my 6800 XT, these settings probably not working on every card, so overclock your card at your own risk. The good thing is if your card don't like any settings, AMD Adrenaline software will reset your card to default settings, your PC won't be crashing, you just get a black screen until your card goes back to base clocks. So on the screenshots you will see some benchmarking results, on base clock and overclocked settings, feel free to pause the video and check the settings numbers and temperature. This is the default settings of the card, and you can see the GPU clock, VRAM clock, voltage, power consumption, current, and junction temperatures in benchmark and the benchmark score. This is the overclock settings of the card, and you can see the GPU clock, VRAM clock, voltage, power consumption, current, and junction temperatures in benchmark, and the benchmark score. On base clocks the card score was 4986 and the average FPS was 198, overclocked the card score was 5438 and the average FPS was 216, I used Unigeny Heaven benchmark. So how did I do it? First open AMD Adrenaline software. Then click on Performance. Click on Tuning. And then Manual Tuning Custom. Click on every white buttons to enable all the settings. When you start changing the frequencies don't type the same numbers like me, start with lower numbers. Let's say minimum frequency 2400 MHz, maximum frequency 2500 MHz, run a benchmark in a background and keep checking how's your card doing, if is stable, don't see any crazy things artifacts flashing screen, you can push the numbers up by 50 MHz, minimum MHz and maximum MHz too, and see how far you can go. For the voltage start with 1100 mV and lowered from there, the VRAM you can push it up to maximum frequency and put the memory timing on, fast timing, in fan control is up to you if you following my settings, I like running my card cool, but if you leave the fan settings on basic it's fine, in power tuning push the limit up to the max, so if your card need more power it can have some extra juice, so basically that's it, it's easy peasy. You can't kill your card. If you push it too far you will get a black screen and the card goes back to default settings, if you get a stable overclock, test your card in games, and enjoy the extra frame rates. Now let's see how the card doing in games, watch the top left corner for GPU temperature, GPU frequency, and memory frequency.
Hold Charlie Sector. This strategy is not working. Hostiles control more sectors than we do. Charlie.
Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like the video.